Hey there, and welcome to Unsigned TV Academy. So in the previous video, I showed you how to create this weather application. Pretty simple app, right? And well, if you have noticed on the previous video here on the apps tab, we have some applications that have this bar up here saying data feed enabled. So uh, in this example today, I'm going to be creating one app that has this data feed enabled feature, which is going to be this one, the menu board basic. And we're going to be uh, reproducing this coffee shop example here. Well, uh, every time that you're creating an app that requires a data feed, you have to click on that app, check here on the data feed field, this drop down. So here it tells you what are the columns required and optional for this application here. So in this case, this app uses item name, item column, Keep in mind it's optional. Item subtitle, currency symbol, also optional, these two, and item price, this one is required, okay? Also, keep in mind to check here uh, the type of each one of those fields, right? So we are going to be creating a data feed to populate this application here and create this from zero. To create a data feed, you can click here in new, click in data feed. And first thing I'm gonna do is create a name for this app, for, for this data feed. So coffee shop data feed. There are a couple of ways for us to create a data feed. The first one is manually. So we create columns, we create rows and manually populate that data feed. The other option is create this data feed from a source. When creating it from a source, we have lots of options here. So we, we can create it from an RSS URL. So you simply paste the URL here and Onsign TV is going to gather all the information from that RSS in case you want to populate an RSS, a news app using a data feed. You can also uh, create a data feed from a CSV file URL from a Google spreadsheet Facebook page, XML file, XML URL, Instagram, Twitter, or another data feed. In this example, I'm going to be creating this data feed using a Google spreadsheet. So I select here Google Sheets. Down here, I'm going to be pasting the shareable link for that Google spreadsheet. I already have created here a Google spreadsheet. So uh, it's a pretty simple spreadsheet here. So I have a column named item, a column named price, and I have the rows here with the items and the prices, okay? So uh, the next thing we need to do is click here in share. Make sure this is a, a public Google spreadsheet, right? Anyone with the link. So you copy the link and we go back to the platform here. We can simply now paste that link and it's going to open this model for us, asking how we would like to set up this um, data feed. So the first um, header that I have there is item. Oh, also keep in mind to check this box if you have the headers as the first row. The item is correct, it's the text type, and the price, it's actually number. So I'm going to select here the type accordingly. Well, we're good. We have six rows imported and we can click here in finish. There are also a couple of boxes here you can mark. So if you want to keep the data feed updated with a Google spreadsheet, it means that every time that someone does some changes on that Google spreadsheet, it changes automatically the data feed. You can keep this checked, right? If you don't, you um, need to manually update that data feed no matter what changes have um, happened on that spreadsheet, okay? So I'm going to be creating this this way. So we cannot change the items anymore as this data feed is being updated automatically from that Google spreadsheet. So if I want to change it, I need to go to that data feed and change it from there. Okay, we, we have created already uh, the data feed. There are also some options here for editing the settings of this data feed. So we could be clicking here and unselecting this box so it would not be needed 
to change the Google spreadsheet in order to change the data feed, you can be doing that manually. And we can also go here and edit some of the columns. So we could be changing the name of the column if we want to, or add a note to whoever is using that data feed. Well, we're good with it. Let's just click here in save. And now our data feed is created right here. So what we need to do now is go to that app again, click here in new, click in app, go to menu boards and tables, click here in menu board basic. Let's create a name for it. Menu board coffee shop. Down here, we're going to be selecting the data feed we created, double click. And now it's going to ask you to match the columns of the data feed with the columns of the app, with the actual items that it uses. So item name for the app is going to be the item column for the data feed. We have not added the item, item icon. So, well, it's optional, so that's okay. And also to be already recognized that there are no images uh, column in that data feed. Item subtitle is also optional. We are not selecting anything. Currency symbol is also optional. We're not selecting anything. I'm going to show you now how to be adding the currency symbol without selecting a column here. And then we have item price. Pretty simple, huh? We can now click in confirm. After we do that, down here we have the option to add a default currency symbol. So for that, we're going to be adding the dollar sign. We could also be configuring some changes here, just like amount of lines to be displayed per page, show each page for 15 seconds. We could be adding a header logo. We could be changing the title, the footer text, font size, item subtitle font size, text font, item subtitle font, title color, item subtitle color. So we could be pretty much configuring everything about this app. Okay. If you would like to hide the header, hide a footer, disable animations, or remove decimal point of prices, you could be also doing that. Well, when we go with this app, we can click in preview and see how it looks like and if it's working fine. So there we go. We have the items from the Google spreadsheet being displayed on an application. So now we could be publishing this app into a campaign and publish the campaign to the players, right? So every time someone changes that Google spreadsheet, it's going to change the data feed, then change the app and change the contents on the actual screens. So no need to change anything else. Simply add, remove, or edit something on that Google spreadsheet. When we're good with it, we can click in save. After saving, we could be using this app as we prefer. So this was another Unsigned TV Academy video showing you how to create apps with data feeds. Well, make sure to be creative. There are lots of applications here with data feeds. Um, this video was only for you to understand the concept of data feeds. So feel free to test it in other applications. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.